That's Chris Haskins here with the realestateroundup.com and today I want to bring you another training as we always do today. I want to talk to you about the cost of being cheap, the cost of being cheap as a real estate investor. I am here on site and the reason I'm doing trainings on site is, is because I want you to know that real estate does not happen in the office. It happens on site with people. This is a people business. You got to get out there and meet people, recruit people, manage people. So I'm here on site at a project. What happened with this particular house here is well, a money, a guy called me recently said, listen, I got a rehab that went bad. This is a, this was a completely renovated property. He was the money guy. He put up all the money and the active member of the relationship was supposed to be managing the contractors and you're gonna see what happens when you are being cheap with the money, the cost of being cheap. What do I mean by that? Us as real estate investors, and I still struggle with it to this day, we have to be able to spend money. Let me show this thing plugged in, yeah. We have to be able to spend money. We have to be able to, to calculate the dollars going out so they can go out and earn and bring money back in. The cost of being cheap. I, I have a big, I'm a cheap guy, I'm at Walmart, I'm getting the I'm getting the most value for my dollar and that's a one of my I would say is a bad habit for me because I can't translate that cheap that the cheap ways over to real estate. Every time I try to be cheap on a renovation I get bit and this person is the same way. The cost of being cheap, we have to learn how to actually spend money. Spending money is a skill because the money has to go out and work the right way. If you hire the wrong people and you pay them, then your money was not spent the right way. That money worked improperly. So what happened here, the guy calls me, he goes, Chris, got a renovation that was done and they went to go sell it. And the first buyer that came in here walked through it and they got a home inspector and they went through the went through it and they saw some old electrical wiring and the buyer ran away quickly so they came to the realization that nobody's going to want to buy this property with the old electrical so what happened was the the previous the previous owners renovated it did a lipstick job that means they covered up a lot of stuff they didn't go in and rip out all the old electrical and put in new. So they, they didn't get permits so today we're going to show you what happens when you are cheap with your money and you don't hire the right people to do the job. Pay the money to hire the contractors that are gonna go get the permits. That way you know it's done. If anything ever comes up at the end, you can say, hey, I got the permit. The city okayed all the work. So your ass is not on the line when it comes time to sell it. I've been there trying to cut corners and every time I lose money because I have to go back and do it again and that's what happened here. All right, so with this, this house here, what we had to do was come in literally rip out all of the old electrical and do new. Looks, looks like a bomb exploded in here. Give him a quick pan, Calvin. Look at this wiring here, I mean, unbelievable. So this, this, let's just start in here. This is the utility room. So the hot water heater used to be here against code. Can't be in front of the panel. So we had to disconnect that and move it. This panel, yeah, this panel was too small. We have to put a brand new panel in. We have the panel right here. This is supposed to be a 200 amp. You can see they ripped out all new wiring. And keep in mind, guys, this was a complete renovation. It's unbelievable. It was a renovation before we started renovating it. All right, you can just see this little wiring here. And if you know that, I want to point out another thing. They were cheap. They didn't even put in boxes to screw the light fixtures to. So the light fixtures were literally screwed into the wood. I mean, just nasty. I mean, people just don't care. Have some pride. You have to care in this business. All right, here's another bomb. We had to change this light switches out. You get up there, Calvin. You see this foolishness? So we're walking into the kitchen here. This is unbelievable. You can give me some slack, Calvin. Oh yeah, I forgot to thanks Calvin, my dog. Thank you for working with me. Here's oh, the kitchen. Man. They put in the microwave. Renovators should know you have to have a dedicated circuit run into a microwave. They had the microwave tied in with all the other circuits in the kitchen as well as in the dining room. And what happens when you have other outlets on the microwave when you cut it on? What happens to the microwave? It goes out, it flips the, flips the breaker, right? So we had to come take the microwave down, put a brand new, brand new home run line there and it just turned out nasty. So here you can see we had to cut over top of the ceiling there. And this kitchen was completely done. All 
new appliances, new granite countertops. You got that? All right, here's our living room in here. You can see we had to cut all the walls open to delete all of the existing electrical because they left it in there. Just so crazy. We cut all these wirings. They had old knob and tube stuff. I might be able to find some for you. You can see this whole thing. I mean, just unreal. And if you look up, we had to cut open these, cut open the ceiling just so we could run the lines too. You got that one, Kyle? Yeah. Upstairs, okay. And uh, let's go on upstairs. One second. <coughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel too when you get a second. Subscribe to the link down below. This dining room in here, once again, looks like a bomb went off. I had to take all this sheetrock down. And it just blows my mind that people will come in and just do such a crappy job. You can pan all the way around there. So we had to once again, Pull down all the stuff. There we go. That's some of the old electrical. You see that there? That's called knob and tube. Those old knobs there. That's what used to hold the electrical wiring going through the house, and they just left it in there. You can see one little piece is right here hanging. That's what it looks like. This stuff will be tied onto those little knobs. It's just so nasty. Why would anybody leave that for a poor new homeowner, an unsuspecting homeowner, to have to deal with? Real estate investing is hard work. Come on up, Calvin. So as you come up the stairs, you'll see more carnage. We had to bust open this wall to put a new light switch in. New light fixture upstairs. This is what it's supposed to look like. When you put a new light fixture in, it's supposed to have a little box there. That's even small, but we're having to go back and fix it. They didn't even have a box there. Unbelievable. You see how this thing is just completely ripped out. And they had, the previous owners had completely plastered, uh, plastered this house and painted everything and ready, had it on the market for sale. This is the bedroom here. Nasty, right? What do you think, Calvin? Yeah, bad job. So here we go, here it is. No, they took out all this. Another, another bedroom, you can see, just give it a pan there. Bust out all the walls. It really hurts to have to do a full renovation behind a renovation. It's just unreal. Another bedroom in here. So we've got new light fixtures going in. Once again, the whole, the whole give them a pan there. This whole thing is just busted out. Let's see what we got anything in the bathroom here. Anything in the bathroom? Okay, you can notice in the bathroom here, that the old renovator didn't even put a light fixture over top of the vanity. So we're gonna to have to put a light there too. And we got new electrical there. Let's check out that room. See what that one looks like too. Go, you can go ahead. See what that one looks like, bro, Calvin. I can talk to you while you're in there. They took out all the old knob and tube stuff. I don't see any. Yeah, so we've passed our electrical inspection today, which is a good thing. But today's training, what time have we got on there? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Alright, today's training is gonna be short, guys. The cost of being cheap. Care about your renovations. It's not that hard to do. Go and spend the few extra dollars. It might be a thousand here, a thousand there, but spend the few extra dollars to get your job done the right way. Take out all old electrical wiring put in new stuff because your homeowner is going to love you for it and your house will sell that much quicker right you get it done faster mm, all right that's it for today subscribe to my channel chris haskins with the realestateroundup.com see you next time